What are the four horsemen? Yeah, the four horsemen are criticism, defensiveness, contempt, and stonewalling. So those are four things that we all do. Exactly, we're all human. When does it actually become a problem? I think once it starts eroding, every couple or every relationship we're going to have perpetual problems. And, you know, these are things that we're going to talk about all the time. But it's how you talk about the problems and how you actually communicate with your partner that really have a lot to do with um, couple satisfaction and if they feel safe, secure, loved, respected. So let's go through them. The first one being criticism. So criticism is really kind of just kind of talking about somebody's character, like, you know, you're always late, what's wrong with you? You know, you always do things wrong. If we want a gender stereotype, that women more often than not will use criticism in their um, ways of fighting or communicating poorly. If we looked at it, there's a difference between criticizing somebody and complaining, right? You can complain about something like, you know, oh, the house was a mess when I got home and I feel really not valued, or I'm, I'm really exhausted. Um, or you can, but if you say, hey, you did that, you're, you know, you never do anything right, you never pick up after yourself, it's, it's a very different kind of conversation. So what is the antidote to criticism? Yeah, so the antidote to criticism is basically a soft start. So it's um, I feel. So using I, I feel... I feel overwhelmed when I have to do all the housework. I'm feeling overwhelmed when something happens, right? You're, you're talking about your feelings and what's going on around you. Then you can even ask for what you need. So the second one is defensiveness. Yeah, and sometimes that could be tied in with um, criticism as well. So defensiveness is not taking responsibility. No, I didn't do that. I did that because you did that, right? So it's really just kind of engaging in back and forth and um, defensiveness is pretty easy to work with because really you're just asking somebody to take responsibility for their actions. And that actually diffuses the situation quite well because then you won't get into the criticism and then the, you know, the scoreboarding. The third one is contempt. Yes. How does that work? Now, that, that's probably one of the most detrimental ones because that's, um, it's very disrespectful and um, it's, it's basically saying it's coming from a place of superiority, like I'm, I'm better than you. So that can look like nonverbal cues like eye rolling. It can be sarcasm. It can be just mocking the other person. And it, it really kind of makes the other person not feel valued, safe and respected. So that's really one to be mindful of. And the fourth one is stonewalling. Stonewalling. And um, yes, if we looked at gender roles again, um, more often than not, males are very good at, uh, or that's their go-to, 85% um, usually of genders are males who stonewall. And that's basically getting so emotionally flooded or overwhelmed with the content of the conversation that they just shut down, right? You, a person will just stop listening. They might walk away from the situation. They're just basically shutting down and just telling the person I'm not listening to you anymore. So what's the antidote to stonewalling? So that's um, physiological soothing. And what that means is really being aware of, you know, when, when your buttons are really being pushed and when you're really at that kind of boiling point. So um, if the content's getting really emotional or really, you know, really heightened, you're not listening anymore, even just verbalizing that to your partner look, I'm starting to shut down, I'm getting overwhelmed in this conversation, do you mind if I take a 10 minute walk, I really need to cool down. 